Hello everyone, my name is Martin. In this video I want to show you a new product. It's a side plate. A side plate with some other functions. It comes with a toolbar in which you can place your scissors and whip finisher. It comes with a fully adjustable arm with uh, one knee joint and two uh, swivel joints. So it's fully adjustable and you can uh, mount the plate in a horizontal way, also in a vertical way. Side plate comes in handy when you're tying flies and you want to have a clean background. The color of the side plate is off-white. The background has a non-slippery surface and it's uh, specially designed to make hair brushes. It uh, can be used as a table lay down a copper wire in the grooves and place all your material hair fur uh, flesh etc catch it in a, a copper wire and make your hair brushes directly on the vise on the short side you can make hair brushes with a total length of 10 centimeters 4 inches and the long side is um, 15 centimeters 6 inches long The toolbar will fit most vice stems. The arm is very easy to adjust. It can be locked and unlocked using one thumb screw. And it's very easy to uh, position it in all different angles and directions. Also, two small tools come in the package. One dubbing needle to pick out fibers and one hook, one twister, to catch in a copper wire and uh, twist the wire to uh, make your hairbrush. Two small magnets are placed in the back of the dubbing needle and twister. And another small magnet is placed in the toolbar, which is easy to catch up a tool or some hooks. I'm tying one of my favorite streamers. It's very easy to cast. As a tail, I'm tying some feathers, four to six feathers, and add some flesh. For making the hairbrush, I use copper wire. Copper wire with a thickness of 0.2 millimeters. The table is easy to adjust and very solid. Place the grooves in line with the copper wire. Apply dubbing wax to the copper wire and place the twister in the gap of the table.
place the hair you want to use for the hairbrush on the table. Add flesh and other colors and spread them evenly. Pull back the copper wire and make some turns on the hook. All fibers are now trapped in between the two strands of copper wire. Between the table and the hook there is a gap. In this gap you can work with your bobbin. Tie off the copper wire and reposition the table. Now before twisting the brush, divide all fibers equally. Start spinning the twister to make your hairbrush. Don't pull the twister, just add a little tension. When fibers get tangled, pick them out by using the dubbing needle or use a comb. Stroke all fibers back and twist the hairbrush around the hook shank. Brush the head and place all fibers in the position you want. I like to use the epoxy to keep the head in shape and add some eyes. Thanks for watching and visit my website for more information.